Hey, how is everybody? Lou from RV Habit. I finally got myself a 12 volt refrigerator cooler for the Jeep and for RVing. Uh, it's in the Jeep right now, but I'm going to go over all the features and at the end, I'll tell you what I think about it. So I usually don't show any unboxing of anything I'm going to film or anything. I think that's usually worthless, but I think it's important for an item like this. It's a bigger item. It is uh, usually going to take a beating during shipping. And uh, I want to see how it's packaged, show you how it's packaged and make sure there's no damage in it and make sure it's packaged so there's no damage in it by the time you get it. So if you can look, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, the box is beat up. I mean, it, it looks like it's got water stains on it. The corners are crushed. So it took a beating during shipping and it comes with these two cloth like nylon uh, straps to hold the box together and you can lift it up by those straps also because looking at this box it looks like you can just lift it off like you know when you buy something really heavy and you can just lift the top off so i'm going to take these two black straps off and we'll see how it's packaged <laughs> let's see yep it just lifts right off it's not even taped at the bottom we got here we got the got some styrofoam to protect the top and this looks like just a piece of cardboard that goes around the entire thing but the cooler is sitting about two inches from all the sides piece of plastic And there doesn't look to be any uh, damage on the outside. And this, this whole bottom is styrofoam. It's sitting in styrofoam. So uh, that's how it's packaged. It's got hard plastic corners on, on all the corners. It seems to be packaged fairly, fairly well to be shipped. And uh, mine obviously doesn't have any visible damage. So uh, let me finish unpacking this and then we'll take a look at what's inside. All right, I have it set up a little bit so we can look at it a little easier. I've been looking for one of these for a really long time, like seven, eight months, and I couldn't decide. You've got the real high-end ones, name brand ones, and, you know, they're eight, nine hundred dollars. And then you got the really cheap ones that you can find, uh, and that's just what they are, cheap. And uh, I don't feel like investing in something that's going to break. This one seemed very well made, and it's at a very reasonable budget price. Uh, it's just a little bit more than I paid for my Arctic uh, ice cooler uh, that just is ice. And now this is a 12 volt compressor driven uh, refrigerator freezer. It's dual zoned, but you can only do one at a time. So you can it can go down to freezing or up to make it a refrigerator, but it's the whole unit. It's not split in half. Uh, this specifically is made by Set Power. It's the uh, I think it's the RV45S, and I like this one for a few reasons. One, I love the old school look. It's all aluminum shell. Uh, it does have a polycarbonate top, and I love the old school metal latches, nothing to break, and I also like the handles. Now these handles are uh, metal, but they, they have a spring in them that lets them spring back. One thing that annoys me on my other cooler is that when you're driving, the handles are like on a rope and the handle bangs back and forth. These hold tight and uh, they're bolted into the side. Now let's open it up and see what's inside. So it comes with, I'm gonna assume this is my power cords. some stickers and directions directions so it comes with a 12 volt cigarette lighter type power cord and it comes with a power brick so if you want to run this off 110 you can also run it off 110 which is a must right you want to have dual purpose so if you have the chance to run it off 110 you run it off 110 um, but they run beautifully off the 12 volt And it has two baskets. So you got one big basket on this side and a small basket on this side. And the interior is all aluminum. 
Now, as for the sides, this looks to be about, I don't know, about two inches of insulation all the way around. The top is plastic polycarbonate, some, some type of polycarbonate, and it's got a nice gasket all the way around that makes a nice tight seal to the uh, cooler. It has an LED light that we'll see. Uh, I guess, I don't know how you turn that on, or maybe it turns on automatically. Let's, uh, we'll have to take a look. And uh, then you have the control panel. I love this power center. Uh, there's no menus or anything. Everything is visible and everything is easy to read and where you plug in your power cord. Uh, so let's get this thing plugged in, see how to set the temperature and take a look at how it works. Now this is one of the things I loved about this model cooler by Set Power is this control panel. There's no menus to go through or hit buttons to get to certain things. You have your temperature, you have your compressor speed minimum or max. Uh, minimum is just to run uh, most energy efficiently. Fast cooling, you can put it on max and it'll cool down real, real fast. And this is your battery protection. So you could set it to high, medium, or low. Uh, high being that if your battery falls uh, to a certain level, it'll cut off uh, and it'll go down, right? So a high is the most protective of your battery. I think if it goes to like 11.9 or something like that, it'll, it'll shut the power off. It'll stop drawing power so your battery doesn't run down. Low will let you go down to I think 10.6 or something like that. So I'll probably keep it in the middle, some uh, in mid. Uh, and you have a fuse here and your power. Now your power cord, your 12 volt power cord, not including the power brick, just the 12 volt power cord is, it's about eight feet uh, long and I'm gonna plug it in here. Let's see if we get power. And we do, I just saw it. Okay, so power. Now to turn this on, uh, again, you can't just hit a button and it can turn it on or off, right? So to turn it on or off, you actually have to press and hold the button and then you'll see it come on. And I don't know if the camera can catch it, but it's reading 77 degrees. That's the temperature inside the box right now. And it is 85 degrees out here now, and I'm in the sun, so it's even a little warmer. Now, once it's running, and I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that compressor? I'll get the mic real close. It's very, very quiet. Uh, but now I can change the temperature of what I want this to be. So right now it's set for 21. I'm going to set it to, uh, let's set it to 38, okay? And we're going to see how long it takes to cool this down. Uh, looks like it is exactly 425. So we'll see how long it takes to go down to 38, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I waited 45 minutes to check on it, and it was already at 38, so I don't really know how exactly how long, but within 45 minutes, it's already 38 and holding the temperature, and the compressor's not on, so it's working. So I'm going to use this uh, for a couple weeks, run it through its paces, and uh, we'll finish the video uh, when I'm done, and I'll give you my likes uh, if I find any dislikes. And I'm going to do a, an article, of course, on my website. But uh, let me use it for a few weeks. And uh, when we pick that, the video back up, we'll see how it's working. So it's been a few weeks, and I've got to use it in the RV and in the Jeep. And overall, I'm really, really happy with my decision. Uh, and a few reasons why. One, I love the metal construction, and I love the metal uh, clasps on the side. It keeps the lid nice and secure. I also like the width of it right so the width is just wide enough where i can grab it by myself i don't need any help i don't need wheels you don't have to stretch your arms out too far plus it fits in the jeep perfectly without taking the back seat out i can actually push the back seat forward and it fits in the jeep perfectly and the controls are easily readable by the end uh, so overall i'm happy two pet peeves of mine that I wish I could change is the power cord down here. The power cord only goes in one way, and if you look at it, it faces towards the front. I would prefer if I could turn this around and it would face towards the back. Uh, again, it's a, it's a minor 
inconvenience, but it's not a deal breaker. The other thing that I think they could improve on is the power brick. So this is a power brick, allows you to plug it into a 120 volt, into your household current, and you plug the cigarette light adapter into this, and this will convert this into 12 volt to run the refrigerator. I wish they could make this incorporated somehow in here so I didn't have the brick itself. I could just switch cords and run it to a, a 120 volt. Other than those two things, overall, I love this thing. Uh, and the LED light, there's an LED light inside. That comes on automatically. So when I open the lid, the LED light goes on. And when I close the lid, the LED light goes off. Uh, as for the temperature, it has had no trouble at all keeping the proper temperature. And I've had this beating down in the sun. I think I took a temperature on the lid. It was like 120 degrees, but it went up to like 130 at some points in the day. Uh, and it had no problem. No problem at all keeping the temperature. Plus, you can buy set power uh, has an accessory where you can buy a cover for this an insulated cover and it'll help keep it cool if, if it's going to be out in the direct sunlight all day but overall i'm really happy uh, as usual i'm going to do a blog article on my website rvhabit.com it'll have more information and a lot of links and everything there'll also be links down below for this particular unit and some other units set power has as always though i appreciate you watching and i'll see you soon